So we spoke in spring training. You said you're going to do whatever you need to do. Whatever happens, happens. You're back now. How gratifying it is to be here and also see, you know, you have, and we mentioned this in spring training, you have a relationship with Eduardo that's unbelievable. How much has he helped in this situation? Yeah, I mean, just as far as being back, I said to you in spring training I had no control over that, and I just went down to Syracuse and tried to be the best player I could be, and then it worked out down there, and now I'm up here. Um, and as far as Eduardo goes, it's, it's nobody nobody cannot like that guy. He's the best guy in the world. Um, he's such a good mentor and veteran leadership uh, just in the clubhouse, and um, it's awesome to get to play with all these guys. You guys know you're going to be coming up together. What's that like? Two of you here now, two more probably on the way at some point. Yeah, I mean, it's just great to have that young uh, group like together, that core right there. Uh, me and Mauricio and Alvarez have played together every single year, um, and it's been awesome. And then we, we played with uh, Vientos in the fall and stuff like that, and um, got to play with them in spring training and a little bit last year. And um, all these guys, all those guys are just uh, unbelievable players and, and great guys in the clubhouse, too. So I, I love spending time with them as well. Thanks, you got that small sampling until the injury. How much did that help to take away some of the nerves coming up the second time? Yeah, I mean, I said I said it last year. Um, the nerves set in a little bit before the game, but right when I went out there last year, it was it was normal. It was uh, play baseball, try to try to win for the team and stuff like that. But uh, it's definitely been um, a little bit different this go around. I'm just trying to um, stay consistent now and, and uh, just be, stay within myself and be the best player I can be and get get some wins for this team. So. It's so much different these days. Back in the day, you only had baseball in America to know a little bit about your players. Now the fans, you know, they were checking their phones. They're watching your real-time at bats on the, major, the minor league baseball app. How much pressure does that put on you knowing the fan base is you know, expecting you to be the next great best day? Yeah, I mean, that's always great. Um, you, you don't have pressure unless uh, people expect something from you, but... Um, at the end of the day, I'm just going to go out there and, and do what I do best and, and try to hit the ball around the yard and uh, play good defense, and that's all I can ask for. So. Take a look at this team. 14-9, your team's been the most traveled team on the road so far this season. Overcome a lot. You know, you're not here that long, but you've noticed you know, the, the next man up mentality. And where does that come from? Is it the manager, is it the group of players, or is it a combination? It's, it's a combination of both, but um, I mean, our mentality is to win every single night. Um, and that's what I kind of stepped into, and that's what I realized last year is we, we built a winning culture around here, and we expect to win every single game. So um, it's just really cool to be able to step in here and, and, and compete every single night with these guys. So. And lastly, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a rallying point, but I, I noticed some t-shirts that uh, sweat and rosin. What's that about? How did that start? And is it a rallying point for this team? Uh, I mean, something happened down in L.A., and uh, I mean, everybody saw it, but uh, I mean, we can't really do anything about it now. We're just going to go out there and compete, um, and it's just kind of a funny joke inside the clubhouse right now, so.